Hello everyone. Today I'm out here in our pasture area. So you can see our livestock barn. It's right back there. And our pasture area kind of goes all the way over somewhere around this telephone pole. And it's going to go all the way down to the trees down in here. And then it kind of comes back all the way around to the back side of the dam. And you can see all the weeds that have grown through this area. So there's a, it's very weedy of a pasture. It's not very good condition. And uh, specifically over here in this area, there's a dip and there's a ditch down in the middle of here. And it's been, it's been too steep for me to want to ever mow it. So it's never actually been mowed since we've owned this property. So I want to reseed this area with some good... Uh, with some good uh, pasture grasses and some good legumes. But before I can reseed this, I need to knock down all these weeds. I want to see if I can get these, all this mowed down and make it nice and neat um, before I start reseeding. So that's what I'm going to start doing today is I'm going to see if I can get this whole pasture mowed. And some of this will be the first time. So let's go ahead, get started mowing, and then we'll come back and see how we're going to reseed this pasture. So I think it's been about three weeks since we came out here and mowed um, and cleared the pasture back here of all the weeds. And you can see how green the pasture is. It's just super nice and green. Uh, all the grass has kind of come back. The grass is coming up. And um, there's not much weeds that have come back yet. So it's looking really good right now. Now if you do look around like the culvert right there, that culvert, you see some, some kind of darker spots there around that culvert. So it had a lot of ragweed in that area and it was so thick and so dense that it actually completely shaded out uh, all the grass that was underneath. So there's no grass or vegetation under there. And that's the same with the black back side of the dam. I cleared about 40 feet off of this end of the dam and it had trees and ragweed. And um, you know, a lot of that ragweed ends up being, you know, shoulder height. And it was just completely shaded out all the grass and there's no vegetation in a lot of areas on the back side of that dam as well. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking for right now is I'm looking for where the really bad spots are in the pasture. And um, that, that's a couple of them, but they're on hillsides. They're not gonna be easy to deal with. But um, on the back side of the dam here, there used to be some brush piles. Uh, they obviously had cleared the dam before we bought this property and they piled two big brush piles back here. And when I had the bulldozer here, when we were uh, building our house, uh, I had that bulldozer come over and push those two brush piles back into the tree line and and they're back in the in the tree that brush is back in the trees now covered with vegetation you can't really even tell where it is hardly but it left a ton of ruts and potholes and everything in the ground there so there's a lot of uh, missing vegetation that likes to sit with water because it's a low spot from where they dug the dirt out so this area I'd like to go ahead and kind of refinish I think I we're gonna go ahead and get the disc out 
and we're gonna kind of right on the back side of the dam here where the where the the ruts and the potholes are we're gonna this set up try to smooth that all back out and get some grass seed planted in this area um, and then we'll kind of address how we're going to maybe overseed the entire pasture So it's been a week now since I uh, dissed this area on the back side of the dam. I dissed that up and reseeded that. Um, I lost some of the film footage. Somehow I didn't get something copied or something. So I lost some of the film of uh, disking that up and kind of working the soil and everything. So basically I, um, I planted that in a fescue orchard grass mixture. And after I spread the seed on there, I took the um, I took the chain harrow drag on the back of the four wheeler, and I just kind of I just kind of went over the surface, you know, and I just wanted to incorporate that seed just in the very top of the soil, just just barely, and uh, maybe to help it uh, germinate better. And then I I was rushing to get it done that day, and um, we got a half inch of rain that night, and then we got two and a half inches of rain yesterday. So the ground is now saturated with water. Everything's all nice and moist. So hopefully this will all, uh, you know, germinate and grow back and we'll have a nice um, uh, green pasture there. So now it's time to go ahead and seed the rest of this pasture. So what I want to do is I just want to overseed the rest of this pasture. I think it's been about four weeks now since I mowed it. And it is uh, nice coming up, all nice and green. Still don't have any weeds right now. Um, so it's looking pretty good, but I want to go ahead and there's some patchy areas in here that don't have much grass. So I want to go ahead and overseed it. Now I know a lot of people want to make fun of me because I just seeded this and I used a little push seeder and because uh, that, that's all I had. So I've been looking for some kind of spreader and trying to find a used one. I've had no luck. Um, I am not going to push uh, spread this entire pasture. So I finally broke down. I bought a seeder. So we're going to go over this with, since the ground's saturated, I don't want to use any big equipment. Everything's nice and soft right now. So we're going to use a four wheeler and I've got a pull behind spreader and we're going to seed this whole pasture area um, and basically overseed it. And then hopefully it'll make it a thicker grass next spring. So this is the spreader that I ended up buying. This is just an AgriFab uh, pull behind spreader. This is one of their bigger ones. This is like 175 pounds that this will hold. I think it holds 20 gallons. And um, so you got basically a little lever back here. You got a little stop on the lever where you want your gate to be open on how fast you drop seed. And then you can operate it basically uh, from reaching behind you on the four wheeler. So I think this will work out for my purposes. I should be able to use this for seed. I should be able to use this for fertilizer um, in the future. So hopefully this isn't a wasted purchase. I think, uh, I think I'll get some use out of this over the next few years. So I'm going to be overseeding the pasture today with, um, with fescue and orchard grass. And this is grass seed that I've had laying around. I actually bought this earlier this year. I've, I've used it on several little projects. And this is just seed that I have left over. So I might as well go ahead and use it and put it to good use. So I've got just two different types of fescue over here, two different types of orchard grass. We're going to try to mix them all up, see if we can get these put uh, inside of the, um, the AgriFab spreader here. And then we'll take the four-wheeler 
and just you know go around the whole pasture and hopefully we can go over the whole thing before we run out of grass um, hopefully maybe i'll start on some of the worse areas um, that doesn't have as much grass and uh, get them seeded make sure those are at least done but hopefully i'll have enough to go over the entire pasture i'm gonna guess you know because uh these three bags here were 50 pound bags and i think that was a 25 pound bag so i think in between all them bags i got a probably close to 70 pounds worth of seed so hopefully that is enough to overseed this little pasture area here so this is only this is probably only going to be uh an acre or so that we'll be going over today and uh get that reseeded so let's go ahead and, and load up the spreader Well, I got the hopper about as full as I want to get it, and I still have orchard grass and fescue left over. Probably the cheapest thing about this AgriFab um, spreader has got to be this cover. This is like a little plastic cover to keep the grass seed from going away, and it just barely fits. Let's see if I get this on. All right, hopefully that stays on, and uh, get to spread some seed. So I basically filled that spreader up one and a half times full of grass seed and I had enough seed that I was able to over seed this you know this entire pasture area uh, all around here and then even back behind the barn as well and then there was still a little bit left in the spreader so I was able to kind of go back to the areas that had basically very little grass and go back over those and overseed them again get just a little bit of extra seed in those areas. Um, after that was all said and done, I still have some orchard grass that's left over in the bag. So orchard grass can be frost sown. You can frost seed that with clover. And I mean, that's something that I could do in the spring if I, I feel like I can frost seed that. I can also use it in the pasture. So I think it'll be handy just to actually keep a little bit of grass seed here on hand in case I've got some areas that need patched. So I'm gonna go ahead and save what's left in the bag of the orchard grass. Um, this spreader worked out pretty good, but then uh, as I was making one of my rounds, I found some parts laying on the ground. And basically the little gearbox that's on the back, the little gear that uh, drives it, um, has a little cover on that and that ended up coming off. Let me show you what ended up happening. So the gear that drives 
the spreader is inside of this cover and I ended up hitting a tractor rut and it ended up must have hit the ground and this whole cover is actually two halves and that that uh, that came off of there and you can see there's a clip on this side and there's a clip here and there should be a clip on that side so I ended up losing one of the clips it's basically a clamshell it's got a front half and a back half and it just um, fits over the axles and and it has these little clips so now I lost one of the clips on the maiden voyage with the spreader so I think there's enough real estate right there I can get a small zip tie on there and um, and be able to at least get a zip tie on there to help hold it on but um, that's a little bit disappointing first time out ended up uh, that cover came off and lost one of the clips but it still works fine I think that's just to help protect the gear that's inside of there and keep it clean well guys it's taken me like several weeks to make this video this pasture area back here it's probably been four to five weeks working on it um, hopefully all this work will pay off so you know knocking the weeds down and mowing it mowing it for the first time since we've owned it um, now that I've mowed the, these hills back here I, I think I'll feel a little more comfortable uh, and be able to do that again so I may have to mow this next year just to kind of knock the weeds down again but uh, hopefully all the overseeding all that grass seed uh, hopefully a good portion of that will germinate and we'll have some good healthy grass out here some new grass out here um, and then the areas where we've just completely dissed up and reseeded hopefully that over there will uh, come back well and hopefully we'll have a nice healthy pasture for livestock uh, now that I've got this done, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to fence this in. So that's probably going to be more of a winter project. But we're going to be setting fence posts and just kind of getting this whole area back here fenced in. So hopefully we can finally get uh, some more, more and bigger livestock next year. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.